Hey guys, it's Overflow here. So, you know, catching up on the tech news, and Apple has done something controversial yet again. Now, before I even start saying anything, this is literally 1984. Alright, so let's get into it. So, basically, to summarize what they're doing here is that they're adding a feature that allows to protect children from uh, what I'll just call it as naughty underage images. So, basically, Siri search and messages will allow you to scan, and it will help, you know, so you don't send those uh, bad images. I'm not trying to get demonetized before I even get monetized, but, you know, just how... Apparently, it's CSAM, which is what I'm going to be referring it to now. So, the first one that they're saying is communication safety and messages, where you can mark an image as NS not safe for work, and it'll just say, hey, this could be not safe for work, and, you know, if you have your iCloud set up as a family, it'll also notify your parents if you open a supposedly marked as not safe for work image. Now, this is a little weird and it can definitely be exploited but this isn't the bad part of it i'm okay with it because you know reddit twitter or whatever all the other social medias have already done this you can mark an image as not safe for work and i'll just you know if on reddit you can choose hey don't show me not safe for work images don't show me this don't show me that you know this isn't like since you're marking it yourself you have to click when you send an image mark this as not safe for work you know it's not your iphone doing it for you there is a potential exploit where you can just mark everything as not safe for work. And if you're, so let's say your friend is set up like under a family account, they might get in a little bit of trouble because, you know, every time you open a not safe for work image, it says right here, if you decide to view this, your parents get a notification to make sure you're okay. So this might be like, you know, exploited with just, you know, human if I, let's say for example, if I just keep sending random images of like doge memes for something and I keep marking it as not safe for work, I might be able to actually, you know, get bypass it because my friend's parents might go, oh well, it seems like it might just be a mistake, so, you know, I'm not going to check on him because every time I send an image, they might get annoyed and every time they open a supposedly not safe for work image, they just go, oh, it's a random doge meme. It's fine. So with that, I could potentially sneak a random CS CSAM image in there and they might just go, oh, it's another doge meme. There's nothing to worry about. So there's some like human error to this. It's fine. That's just human errors. There's, you know, everything can be exploited with human error. But this is the real, like, uh oh part. So the summary of the second part is that your iPhone will scan images and generate a hash that goes that makes sure that you don't have any CSAM images. So I've read their little like PDFs and basically this is what it is. So if you have a picture, it'll generate a hash and then if you have another one, it'll just go, huh, these are similar. And if you have a CSAM image, then then it'll just go, you have a bad image, and then it'll just say, it'll put a bad image on your account, and then, you know, if you have too much of it, the glow boys will go to your house, knock down your door, and shoot your dog, whatever. So that's the summary of it. But, you know, it's very easily defeatable, because if you don't know, there's something called r slash repost sleuth bot on Reddit. I've seen it a lot, and basically what it does, is it's about the same concept, where it scans an image, generates a half, hash and then checks if it's been reposted or the same but if you ever actually went on reddit you'll see that it's defeated pretty easily if you either just turn it into a gif a jpeg a png if you put a slight color tint on it or if you crop it it basically goes well it's not the same image so even since that's like you know a community run i like turning it into a jpeg probably won't defeat apple's version but there's definitely ways around it, like turning it into a, a GIF that's just stable, and you know, just doing small changes to it that'll get bypassed. And this hash gets generated on every single image, which I also have some concerns over it, of like speed if we're generating a hash for every image in my iCloud images. 
I have 50,000 images on iCloud, and if it were to generate a single hash for every one of those, I don't know how performance is going to be, and whether it's going to like, I know there's people who have even more images than me. And another thing that they're saying is that it's private, but it's really not. And I think it's in another document, but what they say is that, well, if you exceed the naughty images on your iCloud Drive and iPhone, then we're going to report you to the Glowboys. But before they do that, they actually send it to a human. That's the real worrying part. I'll put like a picture of the graph up on screen, so I can't find it right now. But basically, they're going to send it to a human before they send it to the Glowboys. That's where, you know, the human part comes in. I really don't like human parts in these because number one, some poor Apple worker has to go through all of your naughty images and go, well, is this a uh, naughty image? Yeah, we'll put one on your account, you know? That's the first thing. Another thing is, how do we know and how can we confirm that that Apple worker is not going to be, like, stamping random images because they have a personal vendetta against you? So, you know, an Apple worker might mark all of my images as, like, you know, naughty, but even though I have none, because they have a personal vendetta against me. That's something. If it's anonymous, then sure, but, you know. And the other thing is just, why do these people actually have to look at these images? You're trying to stop people from, like, looking at these horrible, horrible images, but some poor human soul has to go through all of them and make sure that they are. So that's another thing that I'm worried about. It, you know, they're revealed, and they just, and the third thing I want to talk about is just that this is literally 1984. If you ever read George Orwell's 1984, you know that, you know, there's Big Brother who just goes into your mind and makes sure that you're not thinking anything about a uh, sus. You know, this is literally 1984, but we're in the year 2020. They're going through your phone and your iCloud images to make sure that you don't think that what they don't want you to think. Now, this may look like something good, like we're doing it for the children, but it's not. It's it's basically using the same mental thinking as I have nothing to hide, so it's not it's okay. That's an absolute crap mentality. If you have nothing to hide, then well, other criminals have to hide, but they're a lot smarter. If you try to ban guns, look up, like, literally any country that has, like, banned guns. Well, criminals still have guns. What you're really hurting here is the innocent person. If you're trying to ban these naughty images, the criminals will just, like, move to Android, move to another cloud storage, use Linux, whatever. You're not really stopping anyone. But all you're doing is just wasting resources generating hashes for these images that potentially have, you know, naughty images, and you may get, like, a few, but really, all the people who really want to spread these things, who really want to watch this, are going to be on tour with their NordVPN that they got showed from. This isn't going to stop anyone. The real, if you try to ban drugs, people will still use drugs, but, you know, the real people who are getting hurt are not the people who use them. You all remember, like, back in the 1900s, in the American Prohibition when they tried to ban alcohol. Well, people still drank alcohol. The only people that, you know, it hurted the entire economy and basically caused a downfall because they banned alcohol. Did it, did it really help? It didn't. The criminals still got to use alcohol, you know, Al Capone. Then I have nothing to hide, so it's okay mentality never works. You know, that's why we learn from history. That's what history is freaking for. If you... If you're going to take one thing away from this video, just remember, if I have nothing to hide, so it's okay, is the worst mentality you can have when it comes to these sort of things. That's it for me. You can watch other videos, that's just my personal opinion on it, but 